Let's welcome in Glenn Big Baby Davis, a champion with the Celtics and a former member of the Clippers. Oh, you're smiling as he says that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, it's funny. It's Why funny. is it funny? Because y'all didn't want to believe me when I told y'all about the Doc episode and what's going on over there. What's we can, going on over we there? We can see it. What, what can you see? We can, we can see a dysfunctional team. And you're blaming Chris Paul. Not Chris Paul all the way. The reason why I say that is because he is the leader. And the owner, the president, the coach. The point and guard. And the player, the point guard. Right. And your job as the point guard is to get everybody to love each other. It's not working. We know that from the jump, that Blake and Chris don't like each other. So Blake, And Griffin now Blake's and... not out there. What about De DeAndre Jordan? De you know him. He's not happy. How do you know? Because... You, you, you talk about the stuff when you wanted him to come back. Oh, we want you to come back, DeAndre. We're going to give you the ball. But the man has, what, six shots, eight shots? What, $21 million? You got you to gotta let him do something else. Blake is not there anymore. And you got you, you to gotta get DeAndre involved, engaged. And he, I, I leave that up to Chris and the coach. And it's not working. At all. Time to, time to blow that thing up. Blow it up. Blow it up. What would you do with Blake Griffin? Uh, see how much I can get for him. Get him out of town. See how much I can get so for him. So you criticize Chris Paul, but you don't want to give up on him. Well, I like his heart, like his spirit, but it's just as a captain and a leader, you got to rub your guys the right way. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, this is Chris Paul last night after the loss to Utah. Utah's a incredibly spunky team full of yeah. cast-offs. Like, hell, their coach, Quinn Snyder, got sent to Russia. <laughs> there are cast-offs. Joe Ingles got cut by Doc Rivers. Chris Paul was feisty after the game. Here he is. Will the Clippers be back here Sunday playing the game seven? What? <laughs> your feeling about, you know, your level of confidence that you'll be back here again. What you think? For I, I'm on the team. What you want me to say? No, nah, it's over. I, just, I mean, that's what you want to hear? Yes. That's, come on, man. You've been doing this long enough. Seriously, right? Could you expand upon that? No, I don't know. Everybody in here laughing for a reason. Wow. That's the State Farm guy doing that. Wasn't he on State Farm, like, right? So you, do you think Chris is capable of being more liked? Yeah. Yeah, I just think sometimes... You know, he wants to be in that category with his friends, Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, and he, he, you're just not that guy. Well, he's pretty good. He's, he's really good, but okay, think about it. Think 27 about points it. a game, 53%, 44 three-point, 4-3 to three to 1 assist to turnover ratio. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, it is good, but I've never seen a, a, a point guard leading his team like that and winning a championship. Name the last point guard. Well, it's not a point guard driven championship league. You need yeah. a wing. You need Kobe, Michael, yeah. LeBron, Duncan. Yeah. It's winger big. He needs more. Okay. He needs Would more. you fire Doc or keep him? What he got to go. What? Because guess what? If this was Microsoft, what do you think he'll be doing? Well, Steve Ballmer, if this was Microsoft, what would he be doing? Well, he fired a lot of people. <laughs> and they're gone, right? So you'd fire Doc. You got to. How many years I'm going to give you? How many years I'm going to give you? You took and gave my money Blake Griffin to your son. How many years I'm going to give you? Well, he's winning 50 games in the regular season, and Blake got hurt again. Is that his fault? <laughs> it's not his fault. It's Doc got to make a choice. It's over with. You can't play around with it. You got too many Clipper fans that's that's going crazy out there. <laughs> so you you'd really you'd keep Chris Paul, Jordan, and move everybody. Yeah, most definitely. I move everybody. I'll, I'll, I'll keep Chris Paul. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll keep DeAndre. I'll just I'll go get me a wing and some really bona fide role players. Okay, let me move to Rondo. You know he doesn't score a lot and he's feisty and doesn't shoot well. What's his value? It seems like it's a lot. Like well, you played with him. Like everybody bangs on Rondo. Seems like Chicago. He's the most valuable player, not Jimmy Butler. If Brett Favre played basketball, that's how Rondo is. Give him the game plan and say, Rondo, I need you. Make him feel good. Make him feel like he 
the last couple of years he hasn't, you know, been did, in a situation where, hey, I want to play for my coach. I want to, you did know. You, did you like him? I love him. Now, you're a likable guy, and he's cranky. How'd it work? Because I set picks, got him open, pick and pop, got him an assist. He made it easy for me, a guy like me, blue-collared worker, uh, low post, you know, I'm a, a small power forward. He made it easy for me because of his skill level and then the way he policed. You're smart. He's a, he's a very bright guy, but bright people can be – the word on him is, you tell me you don't like Chris Paul who's difficult. Well, Rondo's difficult. Rondo's difficult. You like him. Yeah, but at the same time, he rubs his players the right way. I love I love playing for Rondo because guess what? If I miss that shot, shoot it again, big fella. Shoot! No, 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 no. Why, why you why you shoot it again? He gave me so much confidence, and that made me want to go over and beyond for him. And that's the difference between Rondo and CP. CP doesn't say that. Mm 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 mm. No. What would he say? He dribble, 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 dribble. Wait for the pass. Okay, okay, okay. We go pass now. Shoot it. You know what I mean? So it, you like you like playing with Rondo more than Chris oh Paul? Oh my gosh! Rondo got me an extra couple of years in the lead because he passed me the ball a lot in the play. Wow. For, for what the about Celtics. this whole? What about does it, it, you know? They said he wore guys out though. He can wear guys out. Rondo, Rondo yeah, wears them out a little. Well, that means you soft, then. because Rondo's a nice guy. He don't wear nobody out. I mean, you're just soft as cotton if you think Rondo is. You know, he's a nice guy. Nice guy. Great guy. Just loves to play the game and loves. To, to to do it his way, but team way. Yeah. Do it his way, but team way. Yeah. In the game. Because that's what you see you're missing right now from Chicago. Rondo's way of playing basketball it, it, taken away from them. Now, you know, they got to go back and fight, you know, game five. How come you didn't play football? That, you know, you're big. You're six you're six nine, about three oh eight. A little bit bigger than that right 324. now. Three twenty four. A little bit bigger than that, right? Three thirty six. Yeah, about about yeah. So you're, did you ever – now, now I told you when I met you, I said, dude, somebody came up to you at some point in your life, some football coach, college, LSU. Uh -huh. Did Les Miles ever come up to you? I'm going to tell you one story. My junior year before I quit, Nick Saban at the time when he was at LSU when he won that national championship, he told me, he said, don't quit football. You'll make about $70, $80 million. And I quit. <laughs> Oh, so you were you at one point you played football? Yeah, I played football in high school. And Nick Saban came to my school to convince me not to play, and I still quit. I didn't like my high school football coach. So you were a left tackle? No, I was a running back. Good hell. You gotta get that footage. It's it's serious. How, serious. how much did you were a six nine, three hundred pound back. running back? To the house. What do you mean to, to what house? To the to the back of the end zone. To the house. Did you ever score a touchdown? What? Have ever scored a touchdown? Did you ever score? Come on, be honest with me. How many? Five in one game. School record. You're, Go look it up. Um, Five touchdowns in one game. And you gave the sport up. Gave it up. What would you do if I was the free safety and came to hit you with my size? Night, night. <laughs> <laughs> night, <Okay>. night. <laughs> Theherdnow.com. Glenn, big baby. I didn't even know that. I had no idea. Go look it up. Dude, first of all, if I was a free safety, I'd run the other way. <laughs>